Hi, this is Peter Stanley. Welcome to my channel. Um, I kind of show all of my drip peppers today. They, you can see the um, plants look very deficient, kind of yellow looking. I do have a lot of nice pods ripening still. But what happened is my uh, fern injector, I'll show it to you. This is actual injector part and some. Um, this piece here is a ceramic sleeve that goes up inside of there. And I noticed it wasn't working and when I took it apart this was busted. So I've had the hardest time getting a replacement part. The place I ordered it from shipped it right away but then the tracking says it was delivered but it wasn't delivered. So I've been running, getting a run around trying to um, find out what's going on. I'm just going to have to pay $25 again to get another part ship or you know I don't have time to hand water these every day um, that's why I've got a furred injector but um, what I'm gonna do tonight is probably mix up about 20-30 um, gallons and just hand water all of these just to try to get them through um, But yeah, I've been pretty bummed out about that. So one thing that's really cool, I just wanted to mention. Um, see this Sedasia Dama pot plant? There's, uh, this is a volunteer one that just popped up out of the potty mix. And that's what that is too. But I just wanted to share that. I thought it was really cool. So, um, anyway, yeah, I'm not going to show all of these. I'll show you my porch plants. Those look better. But um, So this is kind of a... Um, kind of a non-update but that's what's going on with my plants they look like crap but um hopefully I can get that back online soon and green these up again before uh, before it gets cold okay this um, this is my Manzano from Susan Garza and it's um, it started another round of flowering and all of this up here is new growth it looks really good I do have a pepper down there. Let's see. Oh. The roots are looking fine. Uh, this branch and this branch broke off and I had a little hole poked in the lid from last year. I stuck these down in there trying to get these to ripen. See the black boots are ripening up. Um, and this is my Mako Kaku. Same thing happened with it. So um, that's how I've got these stuck in there. It's kind of an experiment. But. Uh, so here's my Helios Hab plant. Um, it's White Devil's Tail. I'll show you the other side. These look prettier from over here. It's my Pineapple Sage and the little wick thing I made. And I've pruned a lot off of this plant. That's growing like crazy. Here's my white sage. That looks really good. Here's my other little wick container with herbs. This is all oregano hanging off the side. Chives. There's a bunch of um, sweet mint on here. Here's my Chinese red pepper. I got another round. I need to pick on these. This is the PF439452. This is one of my favorites for flavor, but it's not super, super productive, but I think it's the location because it's starting to put out a lot now. This has grown out some. It's getting a little more sun. It's kind of been competing with these other two plants beside it. But, uh, this is the Thai Dragon. Looks good. And the Chiltepin is a lot. I need to um, start picking these. I think I'm going to dry these and make powder. I'd probably Probably be a really good application for those. Here's my eggplant. Two eggplants in the cracky tote. Got a few of these on here. These are the Gretel eggplant. And I got it out really late, so a little worm. Um, I started to get some more new growth on them, but there's um, again some little flower buds. Here's another. One there. But if I would gotten it out earlier, I probably would have way more uh, eggplants on it. And the 
peppers have not really roots have not gotten established very well yet um, I mean they're there but you see some new stuff starting to poke out of the bottom that's new growth so I'm hoping once the roots get established then um, this will take off seeing some little caterpillars I think that's what those little droppings are from so something's eating on them a little bit too cordiella scorpion in the hippie container you get pretty good peppers on it it's another shot of my um, helios hab in the um, aeroponic setup it's looking good and some miscellaneous stuff that never got put out these are um, habaneros. Uh, one of the my bosses who's leaving had these extra plants and gave them to me. And I never did put them out. I think I'm going to at least overwinter one of these. Maybe both of them. And this is a peach habanero that I got at a nursery where I work. And um, it actually kind of started dying because I wasn't taking care of it. But it's got a lot of new growth. So I'll probably overwinter this one as well next year and uh, anyway that's update I try to do, post one every two weeks good or bad but this one's more of a you know still grateful um, I'm having a really good harvest and um, I'm not complaining because I know a lot of folks had some rough years but uh, I just had a setback with that injector but I'm hoping that'll get straightened out soon and um, anyway thank you all for watching and um, please like comment and subscribe